counterpart. I am a counterpart. But let me tell you to who I'm a counterpart of. I'm a counterpart of a musician. But let's define musician for a moment. A musician is a person who makes music a profession, thus becoming the proverbial pro. Pro means performing music on a full-time basis. In order to create harmonious sounds, it requires commitment and hours of extensive work to conceptualize and reach a high standard of performance and perfection. Like any other professional occupation in society, the musician is a master of his craft and that qualifies him to be recognized as a euphonic professional as well. Music feeds and stimulates the soul of the listener and the musician is privileged to be the vehicle and instrument to provide amusement and delight. In order to do this, the musician's life is somewhat of a spiritual journey. That sets him apart from the ordinary. His outlook on life may seem strange, possibly unexplainable to some. That's the way it is. You can't separate the music from the individual. He is uniquely different. His life is music. He is music. One would find that the musician has a sensitive nature, whilst fundamentally he has the same everyday challenges as any other citizen. He might have a different view on life because of his creative spirit, and that somehow lead, would lead to the false perception that generally all is well with him, when in fact it's not the case. For many years, musicians have experienced a precarious existence because of insufficient remuneration for their services rendered. With no consistency in their income, and through the years, it fluctuated, and that forced them into a seat of weakness. And then, of course, to add insult to injury, the devastating COVID arrived. Now, with lockdown and all the regulations and restrictions, they now find themselves stuck in the mud. And that leaves them caught between a rock and a hard place. And still, the musician's path of occupation does not alter or change. It's like a caterpillar. A caterpillar cannot transform into a bird. The musician's life is music. He is a musician. He is music. Franz Liszt once said, Mournful and yet grand is the destiny of the artist. I would have said, grand and yet mournful is the destiny of the artist. Let's think about that for a moment. Gino Vanelli also wrote in one of his songs, The Joker's Wild, silver bells on his hat and on his pointed shoes, tears rolling down his cheeks as he dances down the aisle. Watch the man, the little man, stand on his head. Watch the silly minstrel with his empty arms spread. And here's the thing, as his life hangs by a thread. Powerful words. Reality bites, my friends, but this is who we are. Nonetheless, I remain a proud counterpart. We don't really have to elaborate on what the unfortunate circumstances have done to our musicians. No, no we don't. Needless to say that COVID has dealt the final blow to our already struggling musicians at this time. Devastating. Now more than ever, this sector needs our help and assistance. Why am I here? Why am I here? I'm here because I see myself as a catalyst and a mouthpiece for the afflicted individuals as we speak. The band Midnight World sang, the time has come to pay our share. How can we dance while our earth is burning? How can we sleep while our beds are burning? It's like Rome is burning guys. These are difficult times. Potent words by Midnight World. It's with this in mind that I decided to create the Royce Kumbi Sessions Rockstar concept. 
Rockstock is, in effect, for the musicians, about the musicians, by the musicians. As a concerned colleague, I felt the need, in conjunction with my Rockstock committee members, to identify some musicians that are severely affected by the current state of affairs. In other words, we seek those individuals that are effectively down and out. In so doing, we come to their aid and make some difference in bringing relief into their lives. We have to remember always that the real full-time musician has devoted his life, his time and great effort to music. But now, at a time like this, he is stuck where there is no support system in place. In the light of this, and obviously with no help forthcoming from the authorities, Rockstock is collectively committed to instill the need for social responsibility and thus striving to keep our ongoing help system alive. Now, if COVID regulations allow us, we are planning to stage a live Rockstock benefit event at the end of August. Established bands and artists in support of those muses in need will be performing over the weekend of 27, 28, 29th August 2021. In Josie, details of tickets and further financial contributions for our blighted musicians, whom we are in the process of identifying, shall be announced shortly. I am a counterpart. The welfare of my fellow musicians is deeply seated in my heart, and therefore I believe that the smallest gesture of assistance bestowed onto a grieved musician is the greatest gift such a musician can receive. Action must be taken now, right now. And the onus does not only or solely lie on the shoulders of Rockstock, but rather a case of everybody and anybody to step forward now to support this worthy cause. Thus, at Rockstock, we are hoping and trusting and requesting to partner with business and individuals alike. And in doing so, it's an effort to find sustainable solutions for these intervention initiatives. I am a counterpart. So then, why don't we all become counterparts? I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dane Marshall at Marshall Music uh, Woodmeet and Liam and the rest of the team for affording us th this time to videograph our plight. Thank you so much. Let's be counterparts. See you at Rockstar. Somebody took my template. I had it here just now. Huh.